In this video we're going to build a sensor monitoring system with a TTGO LoRa 30 toilet board that sends temperature, humidity and pressure readings via LoRa radio to a LoRa receiver. The receiver displays the latest sensor readings on a web server. This video is a brief explanation of the project. For the complete project details go to randomnerdtutorials.com or click the first link in the video description. For this project you need two ESP32 LoRa boards and the BME 20 sensor. Find links for all the parts below. Let's start by preparing the ESP32 LoRa sender. First, wire the BME 20 sensor to the ESP32 LoRa board. Install all these libraries in your Arduino IDE. Upload the LoRa sender code to your board. You might need to change the frequency depending on your country and pin definitions if you're using a different LoRa board. After uploading the code, your LoRa sender should be sending LoRa packets every 10 seconds with the latest sensor readings. Now, let's prepare the LoRa receiver board. This board receives the LoRa packets and hosts a web server to display the latest readings. The files to build your web page are saved on the ESP32 file system. For the LoRa receiver code, you need to install all these libraries. You also need to install the ESP32 file system uploader plugin in order to upload the web page files to your ESP32. After that, copy the code provided to your Arduino IDE. Insert your network credentials so that the ESP32 can connect to your local network. Check the frequency for your country. And if you're using a different board, you might need to change the pin assignment. Save the sketch in your computer. Then go to Sketch. Show Sketch folder and create a folder called Data. Move to the Data folder the HTML file and the image provided in the project page. They should be saved with these exact file names, otherwise your web server will not load. Open the Tools menu and select the ESP32 Data Sketch Upload. The file should be successfully uploaded to the ESP32 file system. Now upload the code to your ESP32. After a few seconds, the ESP32 displays its IP address on the OLED display. This means that you can access the web server. Open a browser and type the ESP32 IP address to access the sensor readings transmitted by the LoRa sender board. In summary, you can monitor your temperature, humidity and pressure readings remotely through your smartphone. Or if you're close to the LoRa sender, you can check the readings on the OLED display. The web page also displays the received signal strength indicator, RSSI, and the timestamp with the last received LoRa packet. All values are updated automatically without the need to refresh the web page. With this setup, we get a stable communication between the two LoRa boards up to 180 meters in open field. This will vary depending on where you live, if there are buildings or obstacles in between, etc. LoRa is a powerful long-range communication protocol. If you have LoRa 1 gateways available, or if you buy more expensive boards with better range, you can greatly increase the communication with your LoRa boards up to a few kilometers. However, in this project we focus on point-to-point -point communication using low-cost boards. We hope you like this project. This is just a quick overview. All the details and step-by-step -step instructions can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget subscribe to watch my next ESP32 projects.